what's up guys hope you're keeping well welcome back to another video now this is only a short video in the parts room as you can see with all the parts in the background so yeah what i want to do guys is unbox these the mishimoto um, radiator and mishimoto fan and shroud just to kind of show you guys the quality the part numbers everything you kind of need to know um, so it's nothing majorly exciting but i just thought in case someone does want to buy one of these they might want to see what the quality is like before they buy one so i'm going to try and do a close-up with you know the camera and try and get what the wells look like and the basic overall gist of what they they are now, for some reason i'm actually happy that i actually opened this upside down because normally you'd open that side but i managed to find all the hardware for this thing on this side you know what i mean so luckily i actually opened it from the the bottom was if i did open it from the i wouldn't have known that this stuff is underneath here which is your your foam um tape that's supposed to go around the shroud so that it obviously kind of i don't know seals it in fully so that it i don't know it's more efficient if you want to put it that way so yeah you've got that you've got some hardware some paperwork mission ultra paperwork and what's nice is it does come with all the um, screws washers and i think they look like what are they spring washers so that's in there so we'll take out the shroud first because that one's the easiest and basically let's open that up Get that off that looks super smart what i do like with this guys is it retains your your genuine honda clip as well so it's just plug and play literally i know my car's i think been chopped and messed about with so i don't think it's gonna be plug and play but yeah that's what that looks like anyway guys i'll get a better close-up of that let's take the radiator out so first of all that comes with some silicone lubricant i think this is for all the um all the pipe work once you put in the pipe work on i think you put it on there just so that the joints that it, they go in easier i think basically i have opened this when it's arrived just to double check that nothing is broken and it's actually quite a lovely radiator so from that angle it looks like so and from that angle it looks like so nice 1.3 bar cap on there as well so closer up as you can see that's what our wells all look like it actually looks decent quality i think mishimoto and the bonus part of all this lifetime warranty you can't really argue with that can you you know as you can see this looks like it's got a small little dent in there actually but other than that all them wells all look good do you know what i mean it actually looks nice same with underneath it all looks cool i'll move on to this shroud now this is not far off the price of the bloody radiator can you believe that they are expensive so i just wanted a matching pair so i i didn't mind paying the money you know and if i'm not mistaken price wise these are about 180 to 200 they about 160 to 200 depending where you buy them from but um yeah if you've got a black friday deal and you're laughing that's got the plaque which looks a little bit crooked but yeah that's what that looks like from that angle you know and i think this sealant um stuff this kind of foam goes in that edge in there and down there so i might actually do that fit that to the radiator with some loctite and then that's perfect i can take that to jdk all nice and fitted as a unit so i might actually do that right away and the fan if i'm not mistaken the fan is a 12 inch fan so it is the bigger one right so we want to get a nice strip of that all the way down there 
stick that on and I stuff that way and that way the bottom obviously doesn't have anything because that goes into there so yeah let me crack on with that all right perfect guys as you can see we've got that nicely all around there might just trim these square corners so that it looks better when it's on right so the next thing is we're gonna bang that onto there and the fitment is lovely as I said with the bottom you don't put any stuff there because that kind of goes only up to there so so yeah that's where that wants to go so make sure that that is flush on either end and it's actually central in each hole as well you know what I mean which is great so All right good cup of tea like oh right guys so our plan is yeah these come as a, a three-piece set so you get your your normal bolt you get a spring washer and you get your normal washer so i'm assuming this goes with the spring washer and then your washer it's kind of big small to big rather than big to small if that makes sense but what i'm gonna do here because i do this with a lot of stuff that sees vibration i'm gonna put a small little bit of loctite just a little bit so that these screws don't come loose as you can see there a little bit of loctite doesn't it can be a pain when you're taking them out again but like this it should be fine right perfect guys and that is done ready for jdk that's how that looks i mean look at that you can't beat that you know a plastic shroud versus an aluminium one or aluminum one if you're in america you can't beat that can you really that looks absolutely perfect on a closer inspection is what that looks like you know what i mean that just looks awesome you know what i mean so yeah <laughs> That is ready to go on the beast. Hope you guys have enjoyed that one. I know it's not an exciting video, but whoever wants one of these radiators, that's what they look like when you go with the double. You know what I mean? Both of them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully the next one will be the Civic completed and I can run through everything because I don't even know what else we're going to add on to the Civic's build at this point. But anyway, yeah thought i'd show that but yeah enjoy yourselves guys have a good weekend take it easy cheers bye